Hi guys, Shamian here from Food by Shamian. I hope all is well. Today I am going to do some uh, Trinidad and Tobago sorrel just for you all. Uh, we have sorrel, uh, fresh sorrel, right? Sorrel is something that we see a lot in abundance during the Christmas season in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we have vendors selling it in every place imaginable, literally. We see them uh, on different roadways, they, put, they fill their trucks with it at the back, right? We get it by the pumps to buy, we get it at our fresh produce markets, we get it at our supermarket, we get it sometimes persons that might grow it, they sell it, you know, right in front of their home setup. But I happen to love dry sorrel. And this is what you are seeing in front of you, dry sorrel, right? That's how it looks. It's pretty much compact right so where a pong of sorrel it might because because keep in mind the fresh sorrel is seeds of course it contains seeds but with the dry sorrel you get a lot and it, it, the taste of flavors is much more intense i happen to only love and use dry sorrel right so when you are buying the dry sorrel you get exactly what you pay for because you have no seed or anything and it's just straight up sorrel right and like i said the flavor is so much more intense right so i already have some you boil it with bay leaves, uh, clove, and um, uh, things like that. Not And spice, not all spice. Not cinnamon either, please. That's going to be too strong, right? You can put a fresh piece of ginger in there also. About the size of, uh, let's say, half of your finger. Just smash it with something and boil it. Because you don't want to put too much because sorrel is sorrel, okay? Um, so I have some already prepared here. I already have some prepared in my pot i'm going to strain it. it it was boiled you can't boil it doesn't have to go for long consider it pretty much like how you will brew tea right consider it pretty much like how you will brew tea you want to use a sieve to get it out right In Trinidad here around Christmas season a lot of Trinidadians who don't like cranberry or they don't really care for it what they will do they will make the mock cranberry sauce using the sorrel right so this is what our if you don't know you all will call this in the international will receive in Trinidad it's known as a strainer right this is what our local belief looks like right and this is what was in it also and I'm gonna show you guys a piece of spice that came in it and usually when you buy the sorrel packs at the supermarkets in Trinidad you get it with all of the things in it but this is this piece of spice that I got in the pack also this is brilliant red the uh, sorrel you see because I put it in the white bowl on purpose for you guys to see the color that we have right and I'm just going to to get my sugar in there and some water. I don't use much water in it because I don't want a water, don't taste it, sorry. And at times I leave my spice in it because I want the spice to continue on releasing flavors in there. So I'm just gonna put back in my piece of spice in there, okay? So I just leave it. Also, if you are not gonna drink it immediately, you can feel free. It isn't boiled with sugar, just plain water. Some persons will boil it with sugar, well, I saw they do it, I don't do it like that, right? Uh, also, you can store it straight like how I strain it here without any sugar in it or such in refrigerators and sterilized bottles in your refrigerator, right? Uh, you want to make sure it's a tight bottle and like I say sanitized, glass bottles preferably, right? And you just store it up there. I'm right here, I don't think I'm gone guys. I'm right here. Right, so usually what I will do, I will store it in a bottle, in this exact bottle that I'm gonna show you all. I will store it in this. It's a kind of vintage looking bottle. I will store my own in bottles like these in my refrigerator, right? So I'm just showing you guys, but sterilize it first like I said. So I'm just going to sweeten it. It's somewhat tart, so you want to put enough sugar. Don't overkill it with sugar, but you want to put enough granulated sugar in there. Keep in mind that brown sugar has molasses and the likes of it, and it could be somewhat, it could change up the taste somewhat. So stay with your white sugar for this, okay? So I'm just putting in the sugar at this stage. This all depends on you, right? 
and I'll say something now when you make juice and it's hot and you put it in the refrigerator it gets sweeter so you want to take note of things like those right I'm not going to add plenty of water remember I just said that right so I have a pitcher of just regular water And this I just use about a little over half of it I like my sorrel strong I don't want any water don't finish enough sorrel when I'm making it right so of course you don't put essence in here either or, bit, or bitters and things like that right I don't you don't need it I just want all the intense authentic rich sorrel flavors coming through that's all I want so I don't I don't put a lot of those stuff in it right So I have to taste it to see where the sugar level is at. You can even store it already sweetened in your refrigerator too, okay? I didn't mention that, but of course you can. But if you want longer period on it or so, just leave it unsweetened because that's how we store it and we make it fresh every time we're ready to have, every time we are ready to have it, right? So believe it or not, it tastes like it have no sugar in it because I said it is acidic. Remember I say we, remember I said, in Trinidad here for Christmas we will use it pretty much for um we will use it as a mock cranberry to make a cranberry sauce right so it's acidic you should have known that it's acidic it might be called by different names in the international world right but in Trinidad and Tobago we know it as sorry Right, and have this rich nice flavor I'm just stirring it to get the um, the sugar fully dissolved this is a lot of sorrel compared to the packet stuff that you're gonna have to pay how much dollars for you see how easy these things these things are so easy to make it's not funny you just have to find the time find a day you want to prep if you're a busy person and do your stuff sorry don't take long to boil in under 10 minutes you have sorrel more sugar yes it seemed like a lot remember it's hot and still I can't overdo it and go berserk but I want to make sure that it's perfect in taste because when juice when you refrigerate juice uh, you can't get any sugar you can't get the sugar in there after it's refrigerated right so I'm just getting a bit of my sugar I'm right here, I'm right here, and, it, and I'm just going to sweeten it up. Just a bit more, like I said, we are not going to go berserk and use, we are not going to go berserk and use too much, right? And you don't need to put any spices and essence, remember I said that, okay? I made these things a lot, so, and I've been making them like for ages, literally, so I know how they how they taste and everything else, right? So I know the taste that I'm looking for and keep in mind we will have ice in it, of course. So you want to take things like that into consideration. But don't over sweeten it because remember I said juice sweetens gets a bit sweeter when it's cold, right? So about the ice perfect. I'm not going to add any more. Just by how much sugar I use, I know, right? You can add to suit you. If you are diabetic, just you can use the agave to sweeten it. I use agave to sweeten juices. It tastes just the same, right? But you, you still want to be careful when you use things like the agave and all of that. This, the agave is a low glycemic sweetener, right? I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. But you can make any juice with it. It tastes just the same. The agave, uh, uh, the agave doesn't spike the blood sugar, right? It doesn't spike the blood sugar. So, here is our agave. You see what it says? It's a low glycemic sweetener, right? All right, so I'm going to get it into my, into my bowl now. Into my pitcher, I have this beautiful pitcher there and set that I'm going to get it into. Right? 
eye, so I'm just going to do that now. I really use a measuring cup because I don't want it to make splatters in the kitchen. I can't stand mess, right? So this is my beautiful picture. It's like a statement piece all on its own and I'm just going to fill it up and then I'm going to put some in a... I'm going to put some. I just don't want to use the mug direct in there because it could end up spilling and going all over the kitchen. I'll take down the curtains and everything else, right? So now I can do this because I already took out the bulk of it, right? So easy, easy like that we have Trinidad and Tobago, uh, sorry. Alright, it's a bit, it's, it's warm, so. But then we have the ice at the bottom of it, I don't know if you all could see the ice that's at the bottom. It was brought like that, right? So I'm just going to get some into two different glasses. And this is the end of this live. Right? Let me get my eyes from elsewhere. Because this is quite solid. I'm going to leave some vents in it also. Because remember, the soil is hot. So I'm just setting up to, to shut down the entire demo. I'm just filling it up for you guys to see how pretty it is. Right, so I'm just doing that and we're about to shut down. I will do a, a, a um, demo on Trinidad and Tobago Morby, the Morby bar pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon, right? I'll do the ginger beer somewhat down the road, like later on, so to speak, right? But you all know how to make salad juice now. Right? You all know how to make salad juice now for yourself. I believe you all will be able to get it. The, the, the Americans, the, uh, my fellow Trinidadians who live in America, you should be able to access it. At a lot of your markets over there right you might not get it in your your american chain supermarkets but you are should know of places that you can get it so i'm just about to uh to so that's one that's our stemless wine glass And of course, I want it in a mason jar also, so I'm just going to fill the mason jar. An insulated mason jar, right? It keeps the drinks and thing really beautiful, right? So guys, this is my uh, demo, completed demo of Trinidad and Tobago sorry juice. The pleasure, as always, was my own. You all know the business is all over social media. You all know we are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, uh, we have a YouTube channel, and of course we are on Instagram, all under one name, Food by Shamion. If you want to come into direct contact with me, there's an email address for the business, which is foodbyshamion at gmail.com. I have a next uh, email address. I'm not using it just yet because our website is finished building and we are just waiting for some uh, red tape to be removed, so to speak, before we launch. So when I launch the website, I'm going to also launch the email that goes with the website right guys so until i'm with you all bye thank you for all your love and support and i'll beat you all soon